Creating Ali Abdal shorts like this one is actually quite easy and today we're gonna do it completely for free in CapCut. And what I like about CapCut is a really easy software, it's completely free and you can just download it on Mac and Windows. I have the video that we're gonna create open and to just quickly go through it we have a couple of elements. First the background moves into this blue background and we'll have this image pop up. This image then goes down, a text pops up and a line will be animated. And for the last part, you'll see a graph go up and a number go up too. Now I'm just gonna break it down in two steps. First, I'm gonna create all the elements and then we're gonna animate everything. So let's just begin with it. First, the background. I have this texture, uh, I'm gonna scale this up and if you want the assets for this video, you can just download those in the description down below. I'm just gonna scale this up, then I'll add our screenshot and this can be any screenshot. Go to mask and then rectangle, make sure it's a bit bigger, something like this, and add round corners to it. Then we're gonna go to text, default text, click on the plus sign, move this over, I'll add the text, change the font to something like maybe Montserrat. Alignment left, change the font size to something lower. Then we'll scroll down and we'll add a shadow. I'll add our texture again so we can see what's really happening. Maybe I'll even go for Ariel, just to keep it easy. Now you can always experiment a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we'll add a counter and this file, again, you can find it down below in the description. And we're just gonna scale it up. We'll just put it above this. And then for the graph, and this is the only downside about CapCut, is that you can't really uh, create shapes, but you can make something else. And that's by creating a text, add to track. We'll just add a dash. I'll scale the font size up. And this is a special trick. We can just turn off the uniform scale, turn off the scale height, and there we go, you have a line. You can even scale the width to make a longer line uh, for that sake. In this case, we can easily, uh, if we make this a bit longer, we can easily make a graph uh, with this. We can even change the color, uh, for example, to a greenish color, and then we can just copy this over uh, by Command C or Control V on Windows, and then just pasting it with uh, Command V or Command C on Mac. I'll just go ahead and do this really quickly. And as you can see, it's done. I'm just gonna zoom out a bit so you can see it. Now, what's important is that we're gonna make sure that we select everything and then we create a compound clip. So we have one big single clip. Now make sure that the layer is set on four, three, two, or one, if you want to have it behind a other layer. So now I'm gonna explain all the animations. I have a piece of video here of Ali Abdal explaining something without any animation. I'm gonna turn off our texture so we can see what's happening. And basically what I want to do is, after maybe a couple of seconds, I wanna uh, remove the background and make it turn into our texture. Now to do this, we're gonna split this by pressing this button and I'm gonna add a, let me check, cutout and then auto cutout, perfect. Then we can keyframe this position and I'm gonna show this a couple times, but after a while you'll get the hang of it, how to keyframe. So I won't show every single element, but for this element, I am gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna add a keyframe. We're gonna go a bit further. I'm gonna turn this off too, so we can see what we're doing. And I'm gonna move it down, just like that. Zoom out a bit, and then you'll see that uh, Ali Abdal's hair was still in the frame. That, or we're gonna position it down even further. Perfect. Now a couple things. I think this animation needs motion blur and also we see that the table is missing. Also, I want the animation to start maybe a bit further. So I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna duplicate this two times. So I'm gonna paste once, twice. With the first one, I'm gonna change the layer to one. I'm gonna change the layer to one. Then I'll go to cutout. I'll turn off cutout on the top one. I'm gonna move this over something like this animation fade out perfect so what this does it fades the background away which is great now for the bottom layer i want to use this to get our table back because i want my table back so i'm going to go to mask i'm going to go to split and i'm going to move this over now you won't really see 
what's happening now because this layer still has that cutout effect. So I'm gonna go to cutout, turn that off, go back to our masking tool. As you can see, we can bring back our uh, mask basically. You can even invert this by pressing the invert button and then we'll move it down below like this. And this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Uh, as you can see, it moves down. The only thing that's, uh, that I'm missing is motion blur, uh, but it's really easy to fix guys. What you can do is just select these both layers, create compound clip, and then we'll in this section to motion blur, can turn that on. It will uh, wait a sec and then it will turn motion blur on. It's really that easy. Now, of course, turn our texture on. We'll go to our compound clip. I'm gonna move this over or put the texture on the first layer. I'm gonna turn on our screenshot. We can even move the screenshot. I'm gonna right click on the text, create compound clip. So I can lower it basically. You can change the layer to three. And as you can see, exactly like Ali Abdal also does. Now all the other animations are exactly the same. Keyframes on a scale or a position. So I'm also not gonna show you this, but I am gonna show you one single trick and that's how to animate the graph in. So we have our beautiful graph here and I want to animate this in. So you can keyframe a scale, you can keyframe a position, but you can also keyframe a mask. And that's by going to mask and then we can just use the split that we used before. I'm gonna rotate this like this. I'm gonna move it a bit and I'm gonna add a feather. Now it's really simple guys. You can just move this over to the end. I'm gonna move it into the corner, add a keyframe. I'm gonna go to the beginning and I'm gonna move this over to the bottom left. And then if you play this, you'll see this keyframe animation just revealing the image, making it look like this graph is animating. And this effect is exactly the same on the brush stroke, uh, which again is also in the assets. This is the brush stroke and that needs to go under the view counter. Now, if you animated everything, you get something like this. And as you can see, the end result that we created is almost exactly the same as Ali Abdal's version. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below on which effect you like to see. Then again, thanks for all the positive feedback also on our recent videos. It makes me really happy. Keep it coming and then I'll see you next time.